Hi there, good afternoon and today's lunch with Hirok topic is the basics of the slow carb diet. So let's have a look at it. Um, today I'm looking like a flower lady. Looks nice eh? Looks pretty nice. Okay, and the thing about today's topic is it's a continuation of yesterday's topic. It is that the slow carb diet basically means that you need to have a higher amount of protein and fats and very little carbohydrates which are from the complex carbs and the simple carbs, especially the simple carbs. So there are five things that you need to know. One, number one, no white uh, production food. So basically you cannot have white, um, white flour, white wheat, uh, white sugar, white salt, and uh, white dairy products. So the five W's are completely off the list. Now there's one thing, you have a one day cheat day on the seventh day, please make it on a Saturday or a Sunday. So six days of eating clean, and then on the seventh day you can go hog wild. You can eat whatever you want. Hi Roger, welcome on board. But I will teach you how to do the seventh day, the Saturday uh, cheat day because it's a bit complex but you will enjoy it because you get to eat whatever you want. Hi Zimenla, welcome on board. Why? Because on your cheat day, for guys, you can get away with having two of your meals which are high carb, high and everything. So you can have your entire cheesecake and eat it too kind of thing. Uh, and what happens is because you've not been eating all those uh, carbohydrates and all the processed food for the last six days your body will basically start to uh, lose unnecessary fats and then gain necessary muscles and in the process you will lose fats okay in the process you'll lose fats because the body will start to burn away all your carbohydrates and sugars and then it will shift over into ketogenesis. Ketogenesis is basically the body will use your fat storage as fuel. It takes a long time to burn it off. So in a month you can lose as much as 17 kilos as low as 5 kilos. It really depends on how serious you are about this diet all right i call it a diet but it is a lifestyle change you have to decide whether you would like to see a better you in 28 days so today is day two and i'm still on the same uh, process which is i'm i had a 36 gram protein breakfast for lunch i've had a larger protein lunch and for dinner, I'll have dinner. My dinner will be at between uh, 5 to 8 p.m. And that will have another 24 grams of protein. So basically, my entire day, I feel satisfied because I'm eating a large amount of food. Remember that the large plastic bag full of vegetables that you saw yesterday? Guess how many calories it is, I told you. And I didn't see anybody uh, comment to it. So I'm going to tell you right now, that large bag of salad that I consumed is exactly 20 calories. So, in order to meet your caloric requirement, you need to be consuming at least 1,007 to 1,800 calories a day. You need to bulk on protein and fats, healthy fats. Hi Edwin, welcome on board. So the thing is, you need to consume healthy fats. So have those fats, but don't go overboard. So for example, fats, very easy to eat nuts. Hi Hoyen, welcome on board. I can see you at um, Maldives. Yeah, very good photos. So the thing is to eat, hi admin. Yeah, so the thing is to eat fats, but not too much. All right, so you're eating, uh, you can have a keto bomb, which is known as a, keep, uh, a coffee with a stick of butter in it. So it gives you the fat content required so that you meet your caloric needs. I'm hitting 
about 1200 calories because I'm not adding in an additional meal into it but if I add the additional meal into it I hit my requirement of about 1500 calories so if I want to increase it to another 200 calories I can eat for example two eggs and a stick of celery that will hit 200 calories easily so this is the way that you want to do so the basics of the slow carb diet is one number one you remove all your white calories all right all the white calories which is white uh, flour white wheat uh, white uh, processed dairy uh, white sugar and white salt you may use pink Himalayan, Himalayan salt or sea salt not an issue all right you will have the carbohydrate portion like the flour and wheat and all that on your cheat day please go ahead and have as much as you want but I will show you a way to make sure that that calories are burnt off by your body I will share this with you tomorrow all right how to burn off that body uh, calories because you're gonna dump in something like 5,000 to 6,000 calories into your body on your cheat day until you are absolutely full you are absolutely satisfied otherwise this uh, lifestyle change will not be feasible for the long duration and you will not want to keep up with it so seven days six days you are on 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 on, on diet and one day you go hog wild it's okay go ahead go ahead you'll enjoy it i guarantee you you'll enjoy it so tomorrow i'll share with you how to do the seventh day the cheat day itself okay i have not even talked about exercise yet so next week i'll talk about exercise so the basics i've told you are the five w's you must remove it from your diet number two is you must remove remove fruits from your diet so for the six days you are not going to be consuming any fruits zero fruits I know ladies would love to eat fruits. Hi Anne, welcome on board. Keep your fruits for your cheat day. On your cheat day, you can have as much fruits as you want. But during that uh, time frame of six days, please don't have any fruits. So no fruits, all right? No sugary stuff, no sugary drinks, nothing. But on your sixth, the seventh day, you can have your fruits if you want to consume. For one month, for the guys especially, if you can stay off fruits, please do because fruits are no good for you. If you thought that bananas had potassium, great, but you can't eat the bananas because bananas do not have the highest amount of potassium that your body needs. You need about 4,700 milligrams of proteins per day. So my, my advice to you is to eat more spinach, shards, beetroot tops, all these have got higher protein, uh, higher potassium levels than bananas. All right, higher pot potassium levels than bananas. I consume one tablespoon of uh, cream of tartar. Cream of tartar is a byproduct of wine making. It's organic, and so when you consume it, you get about two thousand two hundred milligrams of potassium per tablespoon of cream of tartar. Then the rest of the 2500 milligram take it out from your diet itself so that this one actually gives you that amount that you need Sec third one third one is you need to have magnesium and calcium as well in your diet so if you're having a cheese which you are allowed to consume but it must be the European cheeses please do not use processed cheeses so if you're looking at um, Greek yogurt or you're looking at uh, cottage cheese please consider those as allowable so if you consume that you get both your proteins as well as your calcium requirements so look at it as a possible solution to your diet magnesium magnesium is necessary for your body you can use it as a supplement so just consider purchasing a supplement and consuming it because magnesium allows your body to relax and allows you to have a deeper sleep so just use any 
potassium uh, magnesium supplement is good enough you can have the liquid magnesium supplement is also good hi Brandon welcome on board so this is the way to go forward just try it for 28 days it's not difficult 28 days in breakdowns of seven days seven days seven days seven days I guarantee you within 28 days you will see a great difference hi Chur hi bro Chur this is Brandon from uh, New Zealand and Australia thank you for being here so this is the third um, uh, uh, rule for the basics of slow carb which is you need to supplement your diet with potassium magnesium and calcium all right so you need to have all this now if you need a boost of vitamin C please consider consuming an 8 ounce glass of grapefruit juice grapefruit juice or lemon juice if you drink this just before your main meal which is your lunch or if you squeeze lemon on top of all your proteins which is like fish and eggs and whatever it can also help you with the diet plan so think about this all right so you need to have number four which is to have more vitamin c so basically you'll squeeze lemon onto your food onto your salad or and or you'll drink a eight ounce glass of grapefruit juice is very good for you so you'll basically end up with a gigantic uh, infusion of vitamin C it will also increase your immunity against flu fever and all sorts of other stuff so this is the fourth point fifth point is keep on track I will come to the exercise routine I will show you that the exercise routine is super super simple anyone can do it if you ask me do I have to go to the gym for six days a week my answer is no how long is the exercise routine the exercise routine is 20 minutes on your first day after that you rest four days and then you have another 20 minutes exercise it's called the MEP minimum amount minimum amount for it to be minimum effective program all right it's called MEP minimum effective proficiency or something like that all right so it's just the minimum amount that you need to do in order to get the gains that you're looking for so that you don't waste your time like spending one two hours in the gym for six days a week you don't need to do that unless you want to be a professional bodybuilder then it's a different case or you want to be a athlete then it's a different case but if you want to just you know have those abs the six abs and then you want to look like nice and you want to have your muscles and just look nice then this is what you want to do MEP minimum efficiency protocol this is it all right so I have gone through with you the five things five basic things that you need to do in the slow carb diet uh, I would not consider it a diet it's actually a lifestyle change so please go through it again go through the entire video if not seen it yet so it's number one do not consume the five w's number two do not consume fruits number three um what did i say number three is uh you need to supplement all right number four is you do not have to exercise so much and the last one is you hi Chun Leong and hi Shauna welcome on board I'm almost at the end of it but you may look at the entire video again from beginning to end and if it's of uh, benefit to you please share it with your friends and family so number five is you want to stick to this program anyway the thing is don't forget if you want to eat your fruits if you want to eat your cakes if you want to eat your candy if you want to eat all the fattening stuff please have it on the seventh day make sure that the seventh day of your program is on saturday so we will start on monday hi sean welcome on board thank you for being here 
So the thing is, you want to have and consume this particular lifestyle change to help you gain the body of your dreams. It's easy, it's not difficult, and you will still get to eat your fruit cake on your cheat day, which will be on your sixth day, which will be on a Saturday. You'll start on a Monday, all right? So next Monday, we'll start, and then I'll show you how it works every single day, throughout the day including all the exercise routines which are put into this program i will go through with you in detail so that you will not miss out on the greatness of this particular program thank you for being on with lunch with hero thank you for watching this please have a relook at the entire thing from the beginning and have a great day thank you so much bye bye